every, in, in a sense, every one of these strengths has a, has a dark side, <laughs> kind of. Um, or rather, we can caricature you by your dark side. We could say to an advisor, oh, um, you are opinionated, and maybe even bossy. We, we, could, we, could, we could say that. Um, the whole point of doing this is that we have such a negativity bias as human beings that it's, we're so quick to say, ah, oh, well, your, your strengths are also your weaknesses. And it's like, or, or, or we say, oh, you can have too much of that strength. No, you can't. You can never have too much of any of these. And anytime you hear anyone say, well, you've got too much of that strength. Like imagine if you were to say that to someone because then your advice would be, well, turn that down, which really translates into, well, be less of that, be less of that, be less of you. We found out who you are, now be less of it. Could you just turn it down? Just terrible advice. What you would say to an advisor is, uh, you can use that unintelligently or you can use that intelligently. If I want to coach you, I will try and help you figure out how to use your advisorness intelligently. How many connectors have we got? Yeah, problems are fascinating. <laughs> problems are fascinating. I don't think so. But it's funny, like I'm not right. That's why giving people advice is such a dangerous thing to do because every person I would give advice to, I would be coming at them from a simulator creator world. And yet there's a bunch of advisors on the receiving end of my advice going, what? You know, as you just said, like advisors, I mean, problems are fascinating for some people. And so the point of this would be to, you know, let's figure out which of those people on your team or in your family might be the sort of people that find problems fascinating.